Louisiana Beer Reviews, Ham's Golden Draft. It says since 1865, but I don't know how long this particular beer has been out. Ham's has been out that long, but I'm presuming this came out sometime after the 1985-86 uh, launch of Miller Genuine Draft. Can't find any information on the uh, Miller Coors website. Um, in fact, they don't even feature this beer. They just show hams. You have to look on the, under the nutritional section and they show this. It's 4.7% alcohol. It's got the same exact specs as hams. The only difference is that hams is pasteurized and this is cold filtered. In fact, back in the 90s when I bought this, you'll notice it said hams genuine draft. Ham's Genuine Draft Cold Filtered Beer. So they were really trying to uh, steal Miller's uh, copyright, I guess. And this was Paps Brewing Company. But Miller must have gave them some trouble because they changed it not long after this to the Golden Draft. In 1999, Miller acquired hams from Paps along with uh, Mickey's and uh, Old English. So now they have hams, hams golden draft and hams light. This beer gets a C on Beer Advocate. I gave it a B minus when I rated it last year. It gets a low rating on Rate Beer although it does get a 65 out of 100 for the style. Pale Lager. Uh, it only has 16 ratings on Beer Advocate, and it only has six, uh, 59 ratings on um, Rate Beer, and it gets a most excellent rating on the Beer and Me. Well, as always, I'll try to be open-minded with this, so we better get started. It's so hot out here, it's going to warm up quick, and I don't want that. Okay, got a lot of smoke coming out of that can. I've only ever seen hams beer sold in 12 ounce cans. If it's in other configurations or bottles, I'm not aware of it. And I've only ever seen it in the Chicago, Illinois area. It might be sold in other places, but it is a regional beer, okay? As you can see, super carbonated very thick white head and a clear straw yellow golden appearance maybe lots and lots of bubbles streaming up it must be per pretty popular though because I see it when I go up to the Chicago area I see it all over hams and hams light and hams golden draft okay so it's very common up there and I got this six pack for $2.99 All right, the old can's pretty cool looking, huh? And the new can looks nice too, I think. Anyway, let's go with the the uh, smell test. Get your grain aroma. With this one, you can really pick up that barley malt. Not so much corn, but barley and a slight roastiness. So it's a good aroma. And that head is not dying out too fast. Now, the most important thing, the taste. It's got a grain flavor, barley readiness. Got a slight hop bitterness in the back end. The body is uh, light and medium, has a very crisp, crisp, <laughs> refreshing, um, dry finish. I'm thinking while I'm talking, I'm trying to think how it is compared to the regular hams. Um, well, they're very similar, but there are some subtle differences, and it's hard to, to describe the differences, but there are differences. Um, I 
I don't know, it's hard to say, but it's just the same way with uh, Miller High Life and Miller High Life Genuine Draft. The Miller Genuine Draft just has a, maybe a little more, maybe it retains more of the hop bitterness when they cold filter it as compared to um, the pasteurization. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Maybe this and the Miller Genuine Draft have a little hoppier taste profile than the regular High Life or the hams. I'm not going to say this is way better than the hams, but it is a little bit better, uh, I think. You know, it's a, overall, it's a regular beer flavor, okay? I'm not going to say it's not. If you like Miller Genuine Draft, I think you're going to like this. This is at least as good as Miller Genuine Draft, if not a little bit better. If not a little bit better. I'm going to um, have to have some more of this, though, to give it a full evaluation. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the uh, <laughs> carbonation is super high. Uh, anyway, the drinkability is high. It's smooth. It is a smooth beer. You know, for two ninety nine a six pack compared to uh, what you're gonna pay. Let's say what you're gonna pay for a uh, Miller Miller High Life Genuine Draft. Um, probably five fifty at least five more like five ninety nine. This is a much better value. Why not pay $2.99 and get a beer that is as good, if not slightly better, than the Miller Genuine Draft? So, yeah, I, I'm going to go all out and I'm going to give this a B plus. I think it's very good. It's very good, and I've got. I think at least two left in the fridge, so I'm looking forward to those. So, les les bon temps roulé. This is a very good beer, and I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to a Saints game. Go Saints! <laughs>